Now, just as the droughts effects on food security is, are being attended to by way of maize imports and subsidies, the fear of the effects of the fall armyworms invasion has denied farmers the relief they would be enjoying. On Food Friday tonight, Gabriel Kudaka brings to us the fresh calls from the, from, of the lifting of the GMO ban for the sake of lasting solutions. Year in, year out, images of hunger-stricken families from drought-ravaged areas, usually graced television screens and prime newspaper pages. Having enough food is foreign in the affected homes as they largely live off relief aid. Some farmers have finished weeding their maize as others are busy planting fresh crop following the coming of the rains. But even before harvesting their crop, fresh fears of imminent food shortage have set in following invasion of fall armyworms that have affected maize farms in more than 14 counties, among them Transnzoia and Wasin Gishu. <laughs> na leo ilikuwa narutia sasa ya pili nilianza asubuhi lakini shida ni dawa ni expensive ni pay ya juu sana ambao pia tungestahili kuomba serikali tusaidie reports indicate that if the situation is not addressed maize farmers in Kenya could be staring at an annual loss of 120 billion shillings it is against this background that in April 2016, scientists from the Kenya Agricultural Livestock and Research Organization and the African Technology Foundation sought approval from the National Environment Management Authority to plant genetically modified maize and assess its suitability for planting in open farms. And since we have evidence, we want to have scientific, sound-based decision-making when we are making the application for open cultivation under national performance uh, trial experimentation and eventual variety release through the legal uh, process. According to scientists, through field trials such as the ones being done in Kitale, farmers will save more in terms of pesticides since the maize produced is drought and pest resistant. Uh, like this year now, uh, on my own farm, I have had to plant maize twice because the rains did not come on time. And, and therefore I need, I, I need seeds that can withstand drought, that once they have germinated, mm -hmm. uh, they will not be affected by insufficient rains. Another maize farmer whose crop has been destroyed by pests sees nothing wrong with the technology provided right information is availed to farmers before rolling it out. Inye watu wa pato wachachua maana yake sana. Lakini kama ni kitu ambaye nasaidia mkulima baada ya mwesi mbile tatu yu maindi imekua tunakupale. Researchers are, however, accusing NEMA for taking too long before endorsing the Environmental Impact Assessment Report on trials of GM maize, which has hindered further progress. Debate on whether Kenyans should adapt cultivation of genetically modified crops in order to address food shortages still remains a controversial subject with proponents and opponents of this technology pulling in different directions. Gabriel Kudaka, NTV, Food Friday, Washington Gishu County.